Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now look at this. Who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. You hear that? Hath, past tense. Do you realize that? And Now think about this. <clears throat> I have described this before. <clears throat> as though God is sitting in heaven and he has released the blessings and they're kind of hanging in midair waiting for us to say, yes, I believe that. And as soon as you believe that, it comes to you. Technically, yeah, that, that, that would be a description of it. But in reality, everything God does, he does through his spirit and everything he does with you, he does in your spirit. He's the father of spirits, so he deals with spirit. He doesn't deal with flesh. Now, get this. If he wants your flesh healed, he doesn't deal with your flesh. He deals with the spirit. And he puts life in your spirit that pushes out through into the flesh. So healing doesn't come upon you. It comes out of you when he pushes it through you. Yeah. Do you get that? He puts enough life in. It's like a, the illustration I've used before of a bottle. You take a bottle like this and you put some mud in it and with some water and, well, I guess that would be with water if it's mud. Otherwise, it'd just be dirt. But so you take some dirt, you put it in here, mix it with the water. Now you got mud. You got this muddy water, and you can shake it up. And then you can take the lid off, and if you put it under a faucet, and you just let the water run, eventually it'll be clear like this again. But guess what? It's not going to magically turn different. The mud, the dirt, has everything in there has to overflow and it has to keep overflowing until it's been completely replaced until there's only clean water. Is that right? Okay, the muddy inside, the dirt, would be like your sickness. The water is the life of God that comes into you and out through your spirit and then it, when it comes out through your spirit, it forces all the muddy water out until you're just clean again. That's healing. Does that make sense? Now, so when I lay hands on people, you'll notice a lot of times I'll just take them by the hands. What am I doing? I'm letting life, that water of life, pour into them, and it just pushes all the dirt and all the sickness and all that stuff out. And pretty soon, now they're completely clean inside in that sense, and now they're clean on the outside because it pushed all the gunk out, right? All the sickness and disease. Now, so when Jesus, well, what he says right here, that God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath, past tense, that means it's already done, blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Is that right? So he has already blessed you. What does that mean? It means, the word blessing means he has spoken well of you, which means this, he has already spoken well of you of every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. So in other words, he's already said, every spirit, now the, the blessing is him speaking, Okay. But now notice, these blessings are the things he's talking about. And he has blessed you by speaking about you and saying, oh, healing, that's a spiritual blessing. That's yours. Do you get that? Life, eternal life, that's a spiritual blessing. That's yours. So every, he looked around, if he took inventory of every spiritual blessing, then he would turn and go, oh, all these, you see this inventory list? It's all yours. It's yours. Now, how, do, how does he get it to us? Does he send it? No. He birthed it in us. When we got born again, I'll prove that in just a minute. Just remember. And I will prove to you that when you got born again, all of those blessings, that's, those blessings are part of your DNA. And they are already in you. God doesn't have to give them. He's already blessed. He's already given, right? And he has put those in you when you were born again. So every blessing you could ever desire, every, especially every, as we would say, spiritual blessing in heavenly places, every one of those that you could ever need, any need in your life, there is a blessing to cover that need. And that need, that blessing for that need is already there. And the fact that you desire that blessing is proof that God wants you to have it because it is God who works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Are you seeing how this all works together? So you think, well, but I don't want to be greedy. You know, I, I just, you know, if God will just heal my back, that'll be okay. And, you know, but, but uh, you know, the, the, I, I can go to a doctor and he'll give me new glasses so he doesn't have to deal with my eyes. No, no, he, he wants to do all of that, amen? And it was already given to you for you to receive it, Amen? But now all you have to know, the minute, 
see, even doctors are starting to catch on to this stuff because they talk about how you have genes in you that are turned off. But through various methods, usually your words, you can turn those genes on and it will produce sickness or different things in your life. So the doctors know that. If we can get the Christians to understand how that works in the spirit realm, see, what you do is God has given you these blessings. These, this DNA or the genes in you are blessings. And you activate them by speaking them. And you start speaking the promises of God. And when you do, why? Because you're born again by what? The incorruptible word of God. That word is what you were born again of. That word is what is in you. And all the blessings are in that word. And that word is in you now. So those blessings are there. But you turn them off or turn them on by you speaking. Oh, healing. Oh, well, you know, I've never been healed. I, I just, I wish I was one of the lucky ones. But apparently I'm not because I've never experienced it. So, you know, I guess God just wants to keep me sick. Now, see, all you're doing is you got your finger on that switch and you're keeping that blessing gene off. But the minute you look at that and go, you know, it says right there, by his stripes I was healed. And in 1 Peter it says, by his stripes I, I were healed. So I believe that. So I believe that by his stripes I'm healed. Guess what you just did? You just flipped on the healing blessing. I think you flipped on that gene that causes it to work in your life. Amen? Do you understand this? It's pretty simple, right? 